Hello everyone. So today I'm going to review my Dino Riders Ice Age Giant Ground Sloth. So here he is. He's from the Ice Age line. Here's a close-up of him. So let's get a good look. That's him from the side view. Bottom view, he's got some sloth stripes. Front view, it looks pretty cool. Looks like an armored, furry armored tank coming at you. The other side view and the top view so he's kind of got this igloo armor going on over here so this is the giant ground sloth i think i got this back in the 90s when i was a kid something i really liked as a kid i remember getting him from a store called nova fontana and uh that's a, that's a local store here and it was like one of the last ones at the time so the the box was really battered and there was even a cockroach wing inside but it was still nice to get. So here's a close-up of him. So I'm going to show you, I'm going to give you a rundown of some of the articulation and some of the things you could do with this. But first and foremost, let's take off the armor. Let's get to the animal. So this is the 124 scale ground sloth or megatherum. Looks pretty cool. As you can see, it's got very nice texturing over here. Very nice fur. It's got these cute little glass eyes. It's got a nice coloring going on over there as far as articulation goes it's pretty basic these things go up and down these things go up and down you can stand up on two feet kind of like a bear so very bear like he's got that little tail going on over here that's not articulate his head goes up and down but other than that very nice detailing as you can see here's a close-up of him very nice detailing the texture of the fur so this is made by Tyco. It looks really good overall. So yeah, I like this guy. He's got a nice reddish brown color with some black streaks and stripes, especially seen in his underbelly right over there. So he's in the 124 scale. He comes with the rider, which I shall be showing you. This is the rider. If I'm not mistaken, his name is Ulk. He is a Neanderthal. Here's a close-up of Ulk. Let me try to get the camera to focus on his face there. Got a very primitive look to him, but he's a Neanderthal. He's got the spotted loincloth, as you can see. He's got black fur on very dark brown skin. And he's got that missing link look going on there. But according to the box, there's a good shot of him. He is a Neanderthal. So his articulation is similar to like any other Tycho Dino Riders, he could sit pretty well. Let's try to get there. His arms go all around, his knees, he could kick back that far only. The loincloth inhibits the movement, but he's pretty good at a seated position, which is what is needed for Dino Riders. So that's a close up of him. <clears throat> this is a saddle. So by now my belly band has broken, so I just have a black rubber band in its place. So this is his saddle. Some of the parts, of course, over time have worn down. Now in the box art, he's got <clears throat> pointy laser tips. But here he's got, mine came with the standard issue, which I think is, I think all the Ice Age slots have the standard issue. So I kind of just turned them this way to make them look pointy. So I got three of those over there. Now he's got a pretty cool gimmick, this particular toy. You could take apart his armor and it's supposed to have some pegs over here, pegs and holes, but I think mine have broken over time. But nonetheless, you could just stick them together and it forms an ice igloo. Now that looks pretty cool. So he kind of has a mobile battle station. So you could just pretend that he set up his little igloo over there, detached it from his ground sloth. And he is living in it so back in the day so yeah you could have him living in, in it like that so that's pretty cool these things pivot all around so you could kind of pretend he's forming a like a this is like a mobile command station and that's his defense perimeter so there that's his little ice igloo so overall it's a pretty good toy as you could see now to assemble this ice igloo as i said there, there used to be some pegs over here pegs and holes but mine have long snapped 
off. When you're done with your little ice igloo, it's got a big peg over here, a big hole over here. Stick them in, and you've got another peg over here that sticks in the hole on his saddle, and he's ready to go right out. So this is a pretty good ice age set. And he sits up top here, over there. He sits up there. And I'm just gonna angle him to get him in a good seating position. There he is. So now he's on mobile mode. He's ready to saddle out. Now the rider's name is Ulk and he's a Neanderthal. And uh, if you guys watch the show, the Dino Rider show, you guys would remember that the Neanderthals are sort of the enemies. Um, they're kind of like the bad guys, like Grom, the guy in the mammoth, is the main bad guy. In the toy, he comes with the mammoth, but in the show, they were just like foot soldiers, so... Yeah, but in the toy, they have mounts. Because I remember when I watched the show, this guy was with the good guy side somehow. But the toy came with the bad guy, who's Ulk. So, you can just imagine that he somehow commandeered it. So, the Ice Age storyline was pretty, was pretty okay back in the day. Somehow the Valorians were able to use the step crystal to travel forward into time and they were able to gain new allies which were the Cro-Magnums who had Neanderthal enemies and you know they got these mounts and these guys actually traveled back in time to help the Dino Riders fight the Rulons. So there they are. So that's a little quick backstory. And here is the Megatherum slash Giant Ground Sloth. So my final thoughts on this is it's a pretty good toy. It was one of my favorites as a kid. Um, if it's in such pristine condition, it's because I'd like play with it, but I'd keep it safe because, you know, they were pretty expensive. So I'd play with it for a few days, keep it in the box, bring it out again, you know, repeat the cycle. So for the most part, it's in good conditions with some of the pegs breaking off. But for the most part, it's in good condition. So my final thoughts are this this is a pretty good and fun set to have the Megatherum or the giant ground sloth. So thanks for joining me today guys. Yeah.